Hey guys, Carrick City here with another review. This time I'll be doing LBX Hakayo from Dan Balsenki. This is a brawler frame LBX used by Hanzo Goda in the first half of the season. And this LBX's name was changed to Destroyer in the English localization. So, as usual, we'll take a quick look at the instructions. Get an idea of what the build is like. I have the front cover, the full color painted version of the model here. The player over there, short bio of the LBX here. Coming up, we can see that, as is pretty common, it consists of four parts runners, three for buy pieces, and one for joints. And as usual, these are the full color instructions which show you quite easily and quite thoroughly how to build the LBX. As well as just a small panel showing you a bit of customization options and a comic on the back. In this case, kind of advertising the DQ base. Next, I'm going to do the parts breakdown. So first, we have the head, which is mainly done up in orange, kind of dark silver, and this mustard yellow colored plastic. With some stickers here, 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 and here. It has an interesting lion-like design. And what looks like a kind of booster coming out of the back of the head. The body is done up using black, silver, and mustard yellow. With just a couple stickers here on the back. It's a pretty simple design with a couple of guns on the side, a chest cannon in the center. Another booster on the back. And as usual, you take off the front chest plate. And take off this front panel to reveal the quarter box, which can be removed and flipped one of two ways, depending on how you want it to look. Next you have the arms. They're made from black, orange, and silver plastic. With four spikes on each shoulder pad. Stickers on each one, or one single sticker for each. Spiked forearms. And spikes on the back of the hands. For the articulation, you can swivel the shoulder pad, move the uh, shoulder joint, rotate the bicep, it has an elbow joint right there, as well as ball jointed wrists. And finally, for the legs, we have a rather interesting design. These are done using uh, black, silver, and orange plastics. With stickers here, and uh, on each of the toes of the foot, or the feet, rather. You have these uh, side armor panels, which can be uh, rotated using these joints. Move around the legs on ball joints. For the knees, it has a bend right here and then a second bend for the knee itself, which is this odd 
kind of piece that sticks out. It does look rather odd. And for the ankles, you got a ball joint there, and a second joint to pivot them forward. And finally, we have the weapon, the Haganjin. It is this big saw sword. Or, it's kind of like a spiked club more than a sword, really. I can see it's just all silver plastic, and really, it could have used at least maybe a couple of stickers. I mean, while it's interesting, while it is an interesting design, it is just a little bit too plain in just this single solid color. And I really do think that if you're going to get this, and if you have the skills to, that you should at least try to paint this. So then you can put it together, putting it on the head, touching in the arms, and attaching the body to the legs. And there we have the completed Hakayo. So this is another new frame type, this one being the Brawler Frame. Brawler Frame LBXs, as their name would imply, are uh, kind of like the tanks, in a, in a manner of speaking. I Meaning they're generally very uh, kind of bulky and beefy. Designed to have both high attack and defense. So overall, it's got a pretty uh, good range of movement. And see, for the shoulders, got a ball right there. Of course, it has waist rotation, and of course, you can equip him with the Haganjin in either hand. Though, one thing I want to mention is that, at least for mine. The arms do have a bit of a problem where they tend to pop off of the shoulders. That is just something to be careful of. Though the joints are still strong enough so that it can be posed pretty well with its weapon, without too much worry of it drooping, at least not a whole lot. The shoulders are pretty strong, but the wrists are where the weakness lies. Still, you can have it in a pose that kind of makes up for it, like having it have at least try to have the sword slung over its shoulder. Then we have the custom dice with the different panels. So, uh, four stats. Head has AP of 200. The body is 500. Arms are 300. There are actually two arm panels since it only has a single weapon. Legs are 200 and the weapon is 300. So overall it's pretty balanced with the weaknesses being in the legs and the head. And a pretty strong body part. That's just the thing to keep in mind. if you want to use it for the LBX Custom Dice Battle. So overall, Hakayo is a pretty interesting LBX, but at the same time, I find it a bit bland. I don't know. I feel like the colors don't really pop that much. With the silver, it does seem like it's a bit too much of a dark color, and it sometimes just kind of blends into the black. I don't feel like it has quite enough of the orange and yellow to really make that color stand out. And it does 
seem like there uh, may could have been spots where it could have used maybe a couple more stickers as there are some colors on this that are not done up with stickers so you'd have to add that in with paint. And I definitely feel like the weapon should have had at least a couple of stickers if not being made of a few different plastic pieces just to break up just the plain silver. So, if you're a big fan of the character and a big fan of the LBX, I can say I'd recommend it, but otherwise, this is one that I'd probably put as a pass for everyone else, as it is nice, but it's just, it doesn't really have much that makes it stand out, and it's not really that spectacular. So, next time, I'll be reviewing the Benkei Ghost Icon and the final ghost gadget, the Kumo Lantern. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, or share it. You can check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash krx50. And for now, this is krx50, riding off.